Hey guys, it's Armytrix, and in this video I'll be showing you how to record any Android device without root using a PC. So it doesn't really matter what operating system you have, whether it's Windows 8, Windows 8.1, Windows 7, or XP. This should work on all of those, as well as Mac and Linux. So let's get started. First, you'll need to go onto the browser of your choice and download the Android SDK pack. I'll leave a link to this in the description. So once you get onto this page, click the download SDK now link here. And then it'll take you to this page. Click on view all downloads and sizes. Select which one of these um, matches your computer, whether it's Windows 32 or 64 bits. Uh, this you can check by going into My Computer and then going into Properties, you can check whether it's a 64-bit or 32-bit. So download whichever one is yours, then save it somewhere you will remember and recognize. So I saved mine on my desktop here. And now take open it up with a program called WinRAR or 7-Zip if you prefer. Drag it and Pop it where you want, wherever you want to extract it. Wait till it completes extracting, and while we wait for this, we're also going to download our second piece of software, which is Droid at Screen. This is the software we're going to use to record the screen. Download the latest edition, version 1.1. However, if this doesn't work for you, try using the older versions. So download the latest version, and then before we download that and save it somewhere you will also remember. Now let's wait for this to finish. Okay, now that it's finished extracting, open up your bundle, go to SDK Manager, run as administrator, and let's make sure it runs. Okay, it's running. Now what you will want to do is look at this tools section, tick all of it, and click install and make sure you accept the license and install. Make sure you are using the latest edition of all these. So by installing all these, it enables you to use the built-in tools in Android SDK to grab video feed from your mobile device or tablet. Okay, now you've installed everything you'll need from Android SDK Manager. You can close that now. Now navigate back to where you saved Droid at screen. Now this is a point at which you may want to plug in your Android device to your computer via a USB cable. But before we do that, what we're going to do now is you will need um, USB debugging enabled. Now to enable this, you have to go into your mobile phone, go into settings, developer options, and enable USB debugging. Sometimes it may work without this, but I do recommend you have it turned on. And even before we open Droid at Screen again, we're going to have to install the drivers for your mobile device. So if you have an HTC, you will need HTC Sync Manager installed. If you have a Samsung device, you'll need Samsung Kies. And if you have a Nokia Lumia device, you'll need Zune. If you have any Google Nexus device, you won't need anything the drivers come as installed. If you can't find any drivers for your phone, the SDK manager will automatically install one and hopefully it should work for you anyway. Now you can launch Droid at screen, so just open it up and you will find something like this. Now click this dot 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 here and you will need to find where you saved your Android SDK. So in my case that's on my desktop, that's over here. Go into your ADT bundle windows thing go into SDK, find Platform Tools, and hit adb.exe, and that is your executable path. Now what you'll need to do is, I haven't done it yet, but you probably have, you'll need to plug in your Android device. But before doing that, if that message did not appear for you, you'll need to go into ADB, ADB executable path and then it should show up with what you need to click again and show its executable path. Now just plug in your Android device.
okay, your Android device has been plugged in. Your your uh, driver system might turn on, just close that. But now you have a live feed on your Android device. You can pretty much do anything you want now. You can unlock your device, do pretty much anything with it. The feed is actually completely live, so I can do anything with my phone. So on, I'll unlock it now. And there you go, I have my YouTube analytics loaded up on there. So if you go back onto that, you can see pretty much everything. It is completely live, you can swipe across, you can swipe back. And it is actually surprisingly smooth. If you do have problems with how smooth it is, you may want to try and install an older version. Now, if you do want to record this, remember you can click take a screenshot and it saves it as a file, or continuously record screenshots and save them to, to a directory. That will save lots of screenshots and you can patch them together with a video editing program. But even better than doing that, you can also use a program like Fraps to record this part of the screen, or Bandai Cam. And by doing that, you pretty much got your device working. You can pretty much record your screen. This is pretty good. It's good enough to do anything like doing a simple app review. But I wouldn't recommend this for recording gameplay on a mobile phone. I don't think it's near smooth enough for doing that. So that is my tutorial on how to record any Android screen without root. Thanks for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up and help me out by subscribing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.